hello everyone in this video we are going to look at amazon recognition it's a machine learning service provided provided by aws uh, amazon recognition lets you do video and image analysis with uh, deep learning technology without any expertise on machine learning all right so uh, amazon recognition uh, lets you do object and facial analysis and many other things so we are going to look at that in this video so when you uh, go to your Amazon recognition service, this is what you're going to see. On the left, you have some demos. So we're going to look at the demos in this video. All right. So click click on object and scene detection. So as you can see, we see a photo and it's uh, doing object detection on this photo. And these are the results. So it says automobile 98.8% confidence. And it's uh, very, very true, right? So what we are going to do is we are going to add our own images and see how Amazon recognition works. All right. So let's add some, let's add this photo. So as you can see, it, it has given some results like saying person 19.2% which is correct. So it's saying carpenter uh, with a confidence level of 96.8%. So I'm guessing maybe uh, the model or the algorithm is consider considering these boxes as wood. And so the people might be the carpenters. So this is this is my guess uh, with this particular image. That's why it's giving giving carpenters as well. So it says game and chess also. So it, it is uh, comparing this image with the board game. Maybe that's why it's saying chess. So I'm just guessing here, but uh, that might be the case for the uh, algorithm. Let's add another image and see. So I have a photo of a classroom. And here it's uh, it's able to detect all many uh, people, right? So it says person, human. So it's a classroom. So it's saying school, and it's in a room. That's why it's in those room classroom. So as you can see, it's giving uh, highly accurate results, right? So it says so it's uh, able to uh, detect the laptop as well. So it says computer. Great. So as you can see, it's uh, it's understanding the image. In a very clear way so all the things that i mentioned here are correct so it's, it's also says furniture with a percentage of 62 so i guess it's able to detect the uh, tables here so that's why it's saying furniture so uh, the model is pretty accurate as you can see so on the left you'll see other options as well let's see look at uh, image moderation now so image moderation is if there's some content which is adult or need to be blurred out so this particular service will help you so it says recognition automatically detects explicit or suggestive adult content right so i'll just view the content so this is a family eating on a beach so it says no moderation labels detect detected so that's right right so there's no adult content in this so the second image that they are providing with is so it's saying suggestive or with some uh, probability of female swimwear right so this can be considered as an adult content or a content above a particular age group and cannot be viewed by some people right so it as, so it works so if i add another image let's say i add an image of a let's say dog So it says no moderation labels detect detected. So the image of a dog is not an adult content, right? So it's good. So the model works. So the model is pretty good and it works in a uh, in a very accurate way. We have something called as facial analysis, where we, we provide an image and it says uh, a lot of things about the image. So it looks like a face, appears to be a female, age range, and other stuff like that. So I'm going to add my own image now. Let's see what predictions or results is going to give us. 
so it says looking like it looks like a face good appears to be a male thank god and uh, it gives an age range of 22 to 34 so i'm 22 right now so it's pretty accurate i can say but the range they're providing 22 to 34 is you know it's it's 12 years of uh, difference so maybe they could give an age range of saying maybe 22 to 27 so that would be more accurate and it says smiling appears to be happy not wearing glasses so this is quite important so it's giving 19.9 percent uh conference level so that's that's pretty good right so what i'll do is i'll add a group photo to see whether it will detect it detect or not So I've added a group photo and it, it has detected all the faces in the images. So as you can see, it says looks like a face, appears to be female, which is right. So here the age range is not correct. So my friend here is uh, 22, so it seems 27 to 43. So there might be some errors, fluctuations, which is quite normal. It says wearing, wearing glasses, which is correct. Good, it's det detecting that does not have a moustache and that's important let's go to the next photo so the age range for this particular person is correct 22 34 so she's 22 that's me so it's correct so here also the age range is quite high so he's 21 22 it's giving 24 to 38 right so as you can see, uh, it, it's able to detect the uh, faces of from a group image as well, and it's giving giving pretty high accurate, highly accurate results, right? So it does not have a moustache. It's given eighty nine percent, and he does have a moustache, right? So there might be some, you know, fluctuations, which is quite normal again, right? So let's look at the next demo, that is celebrity recognition. So I have some photos. Let's look at that. So I'll go to Abraham Lincoln. Let's see whether it detects or not. So it is detecting Abraham Lincoln. Good. Let's try Steve Jobs. And it is detecting Steve Jobs as well. I'll just add my own photo. Let's see what happens. I am not a celebrity, but still worth a try. Oh, it's uh, <laughs> telling me I am Darren Young with a confidence of 74. Okay, cool. Let's look at the uh, next demo, face comparison. So as you can see, it's comparing the photo on the face with this particular photo with all the faces in this photo. So what I'll do is I'll add my own photo. And I'll take the group photo that I, uh, that I took earlier. So as you can see, it's comparing uh, my photo on the left to all the faces on the right. So it has detected me with a similarity percentage of 99.7, which is quite good. Because both these photos were taken, I think there was a gap of around one and a half years. So, you know, a lot of things change in one... On, one and a half years you could say and the photo you know the lightings uh, here it is a bit uh, orange and here it is dark there's shadow on my face still it's able to detect it detect it so the algorithm that they are using it's quite uh, you know accurate you can see and it's uh, it, so it's not even giving me you know other uh, results saying that like uh, i have another similar looking face but with the similarity of maybe 60 percent so it knows that all the other faces are completely different from from mine right so the last one last demo that we have is text and image so uh, let's give this let's upload this photo as you can see it is able to detect uh, almost all the words let's give this uh, another photo so i've taken this photo 
which is a screenshot of uh, some data that I was displaying on the browser. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it was able to detect almost half of the words or the text in the image, but not everything. But it's good since it is able to detect the uh, size, since the size of the text is quite small here. As you can see, it's, you know, so small. This zero is, but I think it's detecting that as an O. Still, it's quite uh, interesting that the we can do this with so with so much of accuracy without writing any piece of code. Uh, thanks to uh, AWS. Uh, we also have video analysis. So in this video, I won't be covering that part. But you can do a lot of things with Amazon recognition. So for this video, I just wanted to show you the demos. These are the demos. Let's hope. Uh, we have will we will be able to use amazon recognition and its features if they change along the way aws uh, implements another more highly accurate features highly accurate features in their service we would be able to see that see that too all right so this is it for this video thank you for watching